let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. The pussy in my neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left to Joe and Justin, pick your second life as Mars on the Magic School Bus. Navigator, nostril, climb on the Magic School Bus. Spank a plane, turn to two. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get back into a pile on the magic scuba. Uh, Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic scuba. I'm an expert. Hello, students! I'm Miss Frizzle, and these are two of my students. And today, we're going to learn about cells. <laughs> cells and I want to tell you guys the di differences between the two cells um pro prokaryotic cells uh their DNA is located in the nucleotide and plas plasmids are also common but in eukaryotic cells it's inside <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking about prokaryotic cells extensive <coughs> internal membranes only in photosynthesis, sweat feces, <laughs> limited time, and the number of organelles. Uh, I did not come prepared today. But they have limited an extent relative to eukaryotic cells. But now eukaryotes, uh, they're inside the nucleus with plasmids are ex extremely rare. Uh, there's a large number of organelles, and there's many types of uh, organelles. But the extensive usual found the volume of cells, most are larger than prokaryotic cells. And these are all, all of the things that Miss Miss Frizzle she taught me in science. Yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> now on to the eukaryotic cell. Bruh. I'm gonna talk about the function of a eukaryotic cell. First, the nucleus holds the cell's DNA and directs the synthesis of proteins and ribosomes. Mitochondria are responsible for ATP production. The endoplasmic reticulum modifies proteins and synthesizes lipids. And the Golgi apparatus is where the sorting of lipids and proteins takes place. Periximos carry out oxidization reactions and break, fatty, break down fatty acids and amino acids and detoxify poisons. Vesicles and vacuoles function in the storage and transport. Animal cells have a central and libosomes, while plant cells do not. Plant cells have a cell wall, a large central vacuole, chloroplasts, and other specialized plastids, whereas animal cells do not. Now we're going to go to little Timmy, who's going to tell you about the structure. Actually, Miss Frizzle, it's big Timmy. Anyways, stupid. Uh, these are the structures. So this would be a, considered a plant cell structure for um, the eukaryotic cell. As you can see, there's like the ribosome. The ribosome, as you can see right here on this awesome note sheet that Frizzle made for us, is a minute particle consisting of RNA and associated proteins found in the large numbers found in large numbers in the cytoplasm of living cells. They bind messenger RNA and transfer RNA to synthesize polypeptides <laughs> and proteins. Other things like the um, smooth or rough endoplasmic reticulum, it shows up in other cells such as the animal cell, which is also eukaryotic, 
this one down here is a prokaryotic cell, so it has the ribosomes, but they, mo these cells don't share as much as the eukaryotes. Uh, as you, or other things in the eukaryotic cell that make it up, there's the cytosol, which is the fluid portion of cytoplasm, excluding the contents of membrane and closed organelles. The cytoskeleton in eukaryotic cells is a network of protein fibers in the cytoplasm. Cisternae is flattened, membrane-bound compartments that make up the Golgi apparatus. Cristae are sac-like invaginations of the inner membrane of a mitochondria. They are located at the electron transport chain and the ATP synthase. Syph negative or hyphen, whichever one it is, is the tra or is the side of the Golgi apparatus that receives products from the rough ER, not the smooth ER, the rough one. Trans, the trans side ships those products to the organelles or the cell surface. So the cis gets the products and the trans pushes them out after they're not useful. Uh, chloroplast, this would be found in um, the plant cell. You're going to find chloroplast. You can see it on there. It's right here underneath the Golgi apparatus. Chloroplast, it's a, it's a chlorophyll containing organelle bounded by a double membrane in the photosynthesis, in the photosynthesis found in plants and photosynth uh, photosynthetic protists. Also, the location of starch, amino acid, fatty acid, purine, and pyramide synthesis. The cell wall, which can be found on the, it can be found here on the plant also. Well, it'd just be this outside thing here. That'd be the cell wall. Um, it's a fibrous layer found outside the plasma membrane of most bacteria, archaea, and many eukaryotes. Uh, the endoplasmic reticulum. It's a network of interconnected membrane sacs, tubules found inside of eukaryotic cells. It can be smooth or rough, as I said earlier. Um, glycosomes, a specialized types of peroxome found in the plant cell and packed with enzymes for processing the products of photosynthesis. So that'd be used in a uh, plant cell, because photosynthesis. Grana are thylakoid sacs. Thylakoids are the interior of the chloroplast, which is dominated by a number, by a network of hundreds or membrane of membrane-bound flattened sacs, like structures. Uh, the Golgi apparatus that can be found in both of these also. Like there's the Golgi apparatus here. There's the Golgi apparatus there. That the, the Golgi apparatus interacts with the cis negative and then trans, the receiving and uh, dishing out. Um, it, the Golgi apparatus is a complex of vesicles and folded membranes within the cytoplasm of most eukaryotic cells involved in secretion and intracellular transport. A lysosome, an organelle in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells containing degradative enzymes enclosed in a membrane. Lumen, it's an SI derived unit of luminous flux, a measure of the total quantity of visible light emitted by a source. A vacuole, it's a space or a vesicle within the cytoplasm of the cell enclosed by the membrane and typically containing a fluid. Uh, perioxomes, it's a small organelle that is present in the cytoplasm of many organ or of many cells. It contains the reducing enzyme catalase, usually in some oxidases. The perioxomes can be found right here in the animal cell. It's right above the Golgi apparatus. The nucleus, everyone should know what the nucleus is if you have taken science before, otherwise you're just an idiot. <laughs> the central and most important part of an object, movement or group, forming it the basis for activity and growth. And then there's the nucleus envelope, which is a uh, or phospholipid bilayer membrane which surrounds the genetic material and nucleus in the eukaryotic cells. The nuclear laminae, a defense fibular network inside the nucleus of most cells. It also regulates important cellular events such as DNA replication and cell division. Then there's the ribosomes. As you can see, there's ribosomes right here. They look like just little dots in the cell. I don't know if this picture over here will show us ribosomes. Oh, right there. You can see another, just a bunch of little, little sac-like dots. Um, it's a minute particle 
consisting of RNA and associated proteins found in large numbers in the cytoplasm of living cells. They bind messenger RNA and transfer RNA to synthesize poly or polypeptides in proteins. And then the mitochondria, which is a powerhouse of cell. You don't need to know how to do taxes. You just need to know that the mitochondria is a powerhouse of cell, and you're good for the rest of your life. Actually, you might need to know the Pythagorean theorem too. Just, just a crazy guess. It's an organelle found in large numbers in most cells in which the biochemical processes of respiration and energy production occur. It has a double membrane, the inner layer being folded inwards to form more layers. And then there's the stoma. Any of the minute pores in the in epidermis of a leaf or stem of a plant forming the slit variable with that allows movement of gases in and out of an intercellular space. And that would also be in the plant cell of the eukaryotes. So that is basically the structures of the plant and animal eukaryotic cells. <laughs>